Hello everyone, it is Default Band-Aid, and today we are playing a little bit of Fishing Planet. Uh, we are on Emerald Lake, and I'm going to show you guys how to get Walleye. So, I'm over here at uh, Midland Charm. Um, it's like this little dock here. So what you're going to want to do, I I've had like mixed success doing this. Um, different ways, but this is probably how I've had like the most success is you press L2 to get like a casting spot and you see that like little it's like an orange line where the tree is where the sun hits the tree you want to cast like right there it's a little bit more tricky than doing a regular cast, but if you time it right you'll send it right out there and what I've been doing is I'll wait until it gets just about to the bottom and I will do a combination of straight slow and stop and go. So, I'll show you that now. And what do you know? We are literally already got something. First cast. This is probably a walleye. Um, I, I should have mentioned you should use um, a narrow spoon. I'll actually, um, after I catch this, I'll show you my, my whole setup. My inventory. Just let me know what do you guys wanna what do you, what do you wanna see next? I mean, I've been playing a bunch of different games, but I'm trying to get more uh, guides out there. And I noticed I hadn't really made a guide video in a while, so I figured I'd play this one. Um, I used to play this game quite a bit a few years back, but I kind of you know stopped playing for a little bit, and now I've gotten back into it. So. See, we got another walleye. Not too bad. I'll show you the one I caught earlier. Oh. So that's the one I caught. Those, these are all the ones I caught earlier. Well, anyway, here's my setup. I have the value cast, six foot six inch with um, some mono line, it's the point zero zero nine. And then I have a Lodex MG1000S, and then of course that narrow spoon, and the, the cool thing about the narrow spoon um, that I'm using is if you actually have room in your, um, in your backpack you can actually just buy it right here, and had no problems with it as you can see I have 18 <laughs> pounds of fish and I've just been using just, almost exclusively this narrow spoon so I'll show you this is the exact same spot essentially except I didn't do that focused cast with L2 so we'll see what we get for success with this like I said when you when you aim and um, cast over there it seems like it's a fair success but Oh, well, here we go, getting another one. Second cast. And one thing you should know about these walleyes, they're they're quite big. You're going to want to have pretty much the exact same setup I have, if not better, um, to catch these beasts, because they get pretty big. And as you can see, me here fighting with them with my bait caster. This is this is pretty much the technique. You just kinda Oh now he's on the right the left side, so now we're gonna do it on the right. This is pretty much the only way you're gonna reel him in. Just toss it over each shoulder back and forth. Eventually you'll get him. It's all about recovering your line, so you'll see uh, he's at he's got me at about 50 right now, so I'll bring it back. Now I'm at 45, 42. Now we're at 35. And he's just as good as caught now. 
Let's go take our pole up. Oh yeah, another decent sized walleye there. And you're, you're going to want to keep um, all these walleye. Uh, another tip I could give you is obviously I'm not even close to a, a hot zone right now. But walleye, you'll probably have the best luck with them at night. Because that's just how it is in real life too. That you're going to have better luck fishing walleye in the night. So I would highly recommend you get yourself an advanced license before you come to Emerald Lake. That way you can do that. I would also highly recommend that you have enough space. You either have one of those narrow spoons. Um, I use you know, a quarter ounce for the number one slash zero hook. So it's a little bit bigger than the number one hook. Um, but yeah, as I was going to say, like in, unless you already have some of those on you, I'd highly recommend that you keep some backpack, some space empty in your backpack. Because otherwise you're going to have to pretty much just throw away some lures that you have in order to make space. Now, I don't think this is a walleye. I think this might be a perch or something. Nope, chain pick pickerel. Okay. But yeah, I'm just going to do a couple more casts just to show you that this really does work. Um, I was actually watching another YouTuber show a similar video on it, but it's just every single time I watch one of those Fishing Planet videos, it's like 12, it's like the first five minutes the guy's like explaining what he's going to do, and then it's like a 30 minute video, and I'm assuming most of you guys don't want to spend 30 minutes before even playing the game just trying to figure out how to play the game, so hey cool, a red fin pickerel, personal record, because I think it's the first one I've caught in this lake but I'll just do one more Right where we've been aiming. And another thing I've noticed is uh, it looks like when you aim, it uh, casts a little bit further as well. So <clears throat> we'll just reel this one in and see what we get. I mean, we can't really be disappointed if we just reel this in and don't get anything, can we? I mean, we've gotten a catch on every other cast so far, so... Oh, my lord. What is that, five in a row now? <laughs> I think that's five in a row. <laughs> anyway, I think you guys get the point. I'm just going to reel this guy in. Narrow spoon, quarter ounce, size one slash zero hook. Oh, come on. Anyway, a fire truck is about to drive by and make all sorts of noise. Uh, I just got a trophy grass pickerel, so that's actually pretty cool. Um, again, make sure you get your advanced license. That way you can keep the trophy fish and so you can fish at night. Um, I just leveled up. I got some, some new stuff available in the shop and a new spot available to fish at. This video helpful in any way or found it interesting that I was just flicking my lure around my rod in a circular motion like this. Feel free to like the video and make sure to subscribe and hit that bell. That way you can see my future videos. And make sure not to rent the boat because it's a waste of money. See ya.